What is up guys and welcome back to the channel. So today is what I like to call a good day. Let me tell you why. So, Uncharted came out, but no one cares about that. A free game came with Uncharted, right? And it's the only reason that I actually went out and bought Uncharted because I got given a code for Uncharted by Sony last week and I was like, okay, what about Jack and Daxter? Because that's meant to come free, right? I want Jack and Daxter? No? So they weren't giving out anything for Jack and Daxter and I was like, you're kidding, right? Like, most people are only gonna pre-order it for Jack and Daxter. True story, don't even say that it's not. So anyway, my Uncharted arrived today and that means I have Jack and Daxter. So we're gonna go with a new game. As you can see, I did absolutely nothing. I just wanted to see if it was the original PS2 port, which PS... Yeah, it is PS2. God, it takes me so far back, it's crazy. Yeah, so it's the PS2 port. There's nothing majorly, like, different. In fact, there's probably nothing different. So let's go ahead with this and begin! I have spent my life searching for the answers that my father and my father's fathers failed to find. Who were the precursors? Why did they create the vast monoliths that litter our planet? How did they harness eco, the life energy of the world? What was their purpose? And why did they vanish? I have asked the plants, but they do not remember. The plants have asked the rocks, but the rocks do not recall. Even the rocks do not recall. Every bone in my body tells me that the answers rest on the shoulders of a young boy. Oblivious to his destiny, uninterested in the search for truth, and rejecting of my guidance. And why would he want to listen to old Samus the Sage anyway? I'm only the master of Green Eco, one of the wisest men on the planet. <sighs> So it seems the answer begins not with careful research or sensible thinking. Nay, as with many of fate's mysteries, it begins with but a small act of disobedience. Hey, uh, Jack, old green stuff told us not to come here. Continue your search for artifacts and eco. If the locals possess precursor items, you know what to do. Deal harshly with anybody who strays from the village. We will attack it in due time. What are we doing here anyway, Jack? This place gives me the creeps. Stupid precursor junk. Eek! What is that dark ooze? It sure don't look friendly. <gasps> the sage yaps on about the precursors that built this place all the time. Where did they go? Why did they build this crud? Now I like precursor orbs and power cells as much as the next guy. But if you ask me, they must have been real losers. Wow! How did you do that? I think we're in trouble! Help! Man, that stung! I told you we shouldn't have come here, and you listened! What? I'm fine. I'm fine. What in green tarnation do you two want? We, we, we was, they was, I, I was... Don't tell me. Instead of heeding my wisdom, 
The two of you went mucking around in the only place that I told you not to go. Misty Island. That's right. And then we... And, Daxter, you finally took a much-needed bath, but in a bathtub filled with dark eco. Look, old man. Are you going to keep yapping or are you going to help me out of this mess? I'm going to keep yapping because in my professional opinion, the change is an improvement. And besides, I couldn't help you if I wanted to. What? There's only one person who has studied Dark Eco long enough to have a chance at returning you to your previous form. Carl Acheron, the Sage. But he lives far to the north. Far, far to the north. Nobody has spoken to him in ages. I would teleport you there, but I can't do that either. None of the three sages that maintain the other teleporter gates have seen fit to turn their ends on for quite a while. The only other way north is by foot through the Fire Canyon, but its volcanic soil is hot enough to melt precursor metal. You can't just walk through it. But you could fly over it if you had a zoomer equipped with a heat shield. I just happen to be working on such a thing at this very moment. All I would need is 20 power cells to give it enough energy to withstand the canyon's heat. Isn't that right, Daddy? Yes, Kira, that might work. But where are a boy and a half going to get 20 power cells? From the villagers. Most of them have a power cell or two stashed away somewhere. And even if they aren't willing to just give them away, greasing their palms with a few precursor orbs should do the trick. And I bet there are even more of them out in the wilds just waiting for some brave adventurer to find. Well, we've got the brave adventurer at least. Brave adventurer? You two couldn't find your way out of the village without training. Before you do anything else, you better go through the warp gate and get some practice on Geyser Rock. Eh, uh, we won't find any more of that dark gooey eco stuff, will we? Cause I'd hate to fall in again and turn into you. Get in there! Before I turn you both into ferns! Honestly, Daxter makes this game. He just does. This device is a communicator. With it, my father and I can give you advice at any time during your quest. No! 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 Alright, so we got spin, jump. These floating egg-shaped things are precursor orbs. Collect enough of them, and some of the villagers will give you a power cell in exchange. Nice. So I literally have not played this game since it came out on the PlayStation 2. If you don't know, which mostly you won't know, Jack and Dexter is probably my second all-time favorite platform game. I absolutely love it. I love it, love it, love it. Obviously Spyro is first, but no, I love this. This is a power cell. The most important precursor artifact you can find. You need to collect 20 of these so I can power the heat shield for your A-grab zoomer. Ooh. Oh wait, get it. So yeah, let's get it. Oh man. When the following icon appears, your progress is being saved. Freaking PS2, man. So good. What do I do with this one? There we go. Hey, you found one of my scout flies. I sent seven of them to each area to look for power cells, but the workers must have captured them all. I'm assuming I'm supposed to be. That's Blue Eco, doing which that. contains the energy of motion. Blue Eco allows you to run fast, break boxes, and even activate some precursor artifacts when you get near them. Sweet. We'll do that in a second. Just gonna go over here. This is the best! Oh man. So, when I started YouTube, I put it this way. When I started YouTube, I never expected YouTube to be a job, ever. So, I kind of noticed that I was growing from like AAA games and stuff like that. But, my original audience will know this. I wanted to have a platform channel. That's all I wanted. And it's just so awesome. Wow! That last scout fly had a power cell. I'll bet 
if you collect all seven in each area, you can find even more power cells. Five. So originally, I just wanted. Ooh, no, 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 no! I'm gonna fall. Oh, get to the door! Get to the door! This is a precursor door. It can only be opened by approaching the door while channeling Blue Eco through your body. But I just had Blue Eco, and then you stopped me. Unless there's something over here. Oh! Oh no! I'm gonna get eaten by a shark! No! Get to the beach! Get to the beach! Oh damn it. Oh, not good. I knew that was gonna happen. I bloody knew it. There we go. Ugh. Wait, can I even get back up there now? Wait, I can. We're good. Mind you, now that I'm here, I can get a bunch of these orbs. Let's just get this and I'll make it a little bit easier. Notice how each blue eco cluster you pick up increases the time you can use its power. Oh, that's unusual. Okay. Right, let's try that again, shall we? Yoink! And not jump off the edge, Susie? Ah! So yeah, when I started YouTube, the first couple of games I uploaded were all platformers. Because that's all I wanted to do, and that's all that's I play. A eco vent. More concentrated than the floating clusters, this vent will give you a full charge of blue eco, letting you use it for the maximum time. So that's why, like, now when I'm playing a lot of big AAA games, say I'm playing, like, the fourth or fifth one of a series, that's why I never played the originals, because I only played... Oh my god, there's trophies? What? Good work. The Blue Eco caused the door to open. With that's Blue Eco, you can breathe energy into all kinds of precursor artifacts that have lain dormant for years. Yeah, so I only played platform games. So I don't much care for anything else. Can I get this? Ah. Oh, my hay fever is so bad today. Oh my god, my nose. Horrible. Those little green balls of energy on the ground are a type of eco. Pick up 50 small green Ecos, or one big green one, to increase your health. Ooh. Trust me, you need all the health you can get in this game. It does get pretty tough. But there's a... Is there not one that's higher? But I want it. Let me see. Hold on. Oh, no, I got them all. You can jump once, then jump again in the air to reach even higher ledges. Yay! I got them all! Woohoo! Power cell! <laughs> okay, Dax. Alright. Take me down to the paradise city with a glass of green on. And that's it. That's everything in this area. Can I leave now? Uh, is that where I'm meant to go? I think so, I think I did it. Good training, boys. But that's nothing compared to the challenges that lie ahead. And uh, no problem. We got the moves, eh, Jack? We'd love to stay in chat, Big Green, but we're uh, itching to get on with our adventures. Fine, fine. Adventure away then. And while you're out adventuring, why don't you make yourself useful? My darn green eco collectors are clogged up again. Head out to the far side of the beach and clear them out, why don't you? Follow the lamps. They'll take you right there. Now, all of you, get out of here! God, you don't need to be so rude. Okay, I cannot turn the camera angle in here. Ah, camera angle, don't do that. I will get motion sick. I will say this though, I'm kind of sad 
that it's like just a PS2 port. I was hoping that they'd remake it or remaster it at least, but apparently not. Hello, what's this? Hey, girl. Hey, baby. What do you say you and I go cruising on this A-grab zoomer? Rule number one, I don't date animals. Ah, uh, you don't know what you're missing. <laughs> Listen, if you need something to keep you busy, my father always talked about an ancient precursor pipeline hidden deep underground. Some of these pipes end in vents from which eco flows freely, and some have been capped off so that the eco is sealed back. There must be a way to turn the capped vents on. I traced part of the pipeline back to the Forbidden Temple. Maybe you should look there for some type of switch. Why do I gotta do it? Why can't you do it? All right, fine, what's this? Nothing, okay. So this is gonna be so much fun because I vaguely remember this game, but not really. So hard to see <laughs> with the camera angles. Ooh, there's a boat there. I wanna go on the boat. Maybe we should go root out the fisherman. I heard he was in the jungle fishing by the lower river. Okay, but I I I wanted to go on the boat, Dax. So if you guys are not familiar with this game, Jack doesn't talk at all in this game. Hey! It looks like scout flies are always in red boxes. He's in here. Hello. Oh my god, don't do that. Oh, don't tell me that you two have problems as well. The first I hear of monster sightings near the village and now this. See those gears up there, boys. See them? See how they're not moving? That means our village has no power. The eco beam coming from the jungle temple has been interrupted. Boys, everyone's too frightened to go out and, and find out what's happened. Did you pay the bill? Yeah, hmm? Oh, oh, you're funny. Now look, if you two fix the eco beam, I'll give you a power cell. Oh, oh and, and another thing, if by any chance you're interested in making a contribution to my re-election campaign, I, I might be willing to part with yet another power cell. The minimum contribution is a, oh, a very modest 90 precursor orbs. 90? Are you kidding me? What if I wanted to keep them for myself? Would I not be allowed? Well, uh... Hello there, my dear boy. You've caught me at a most inopportune moment. Uh, I wish to set off on my journey yesterday, but I seem to be a spot short on the old precursor orbs. I would have pledged my word that I had 90 of them, but I gather that your young friend, you know, the little annoying, miserably ugly one, might have just pilfered them as a sort of a spot of fun. Anyway, uh, would you be kind enough to loan your dear old uncle 90 precursor orbs so he can get underway? I would offer you a power cell in return. Poor Daxter. No one likes Daxter. I'm guessing he was like the the black sheep. Alright, so we spoke to that one. That one had a, a thingy in it and we spoke to the mayor. It's over here. I can hear something. Oh my, what a horribly sick little bird. <laughs> you don't look so good yourself, lady. Oh, sorry. I thought you were a spotted orange bellied rain freak. You know, yesterday I saw some terribly vicious creatures capture a mother flat flat near the beach. Now there's this poor little orphan egg sitting in a nest at the top of the cliff and I can't get to it. If you could climb up there and push it off, I've piled some hay down at the base to catch it safely. Do an old lady a favor and I'll give you a power cell. How do they know that all I want is a power cell? It's like, am I that transparent that everyone just knows what I'm, 
I'm wanting. Okay, so there's a guy down there as well. Such a big area. I actually forgot just how open... What the heck is that up there? Ugh. Yeah, I forgot just how open this game is. There's so much to do and that's what I love about it. It's just... It's your typical... Oh, that's what I was hearing. It's your typical platformer from back when I was a kid. Yeah, Got it. So it's something that I've been thinking about. Just wanting to go back and do all the games that I grew up with and games that I love. Hey! Little furry dude! Oh, I thought for a moment you were my muse. Your what? Haven't you ever seen a muse before? It's a little glowing squirrel about your size, full of spunk, and crazy as a lark. Oh, I get it. Like a sidekick. As a matter of fact, without my muse, I just can't sculpt. But with her around, I see beauty in everything, you know? Right now, I couldn't chisel my way out of a box. I think she ran away to that misty island. Oh, I just hope she's all right. It's worth a power cell if you bring her back to me. Wait a minute. We are not going back to Misty Island. Are we? Not yet, Daxter. Not yet, anyway. All right, let's move on. We've accepted a bunch of tasks just now. Yum. Now look at all these goodies! Fuck! What do I need to run along the beach for? Oh! Hello! Alright! Treasure! Oh. There is a power cell right there. Hey! That pelican just snagged the power cell! Let's go kick some big bird butt! What? Okay, someone is firing bombs? What the hell? Okay, there's a power cell over here, which I'm gonna go and get. Oh, uh, no you don't! Yay! What is with these things? Are you ugly! Go away now. So I am super excited to cover all the Jack and Daxter games on my channel without fail, okay? I will literally stop what I'm doing just to- Ah, you douche! Just to cover Jack and Daxter games. That's cute. I absolutely love them so much. I don't know. I might just turn my channel into a, a platformer. Yup! I need some help. Right, so he wanted me to turn these things on? Or at least get the rocks off them. Ah, oh, so I can actually get health off of these as well. Yeah. Look at that memory card in the corner. Isn't that like the best thing you've ever seen? I love it. Well, I see that you have finally decided to unblock my collectors. I would offer my congratulations, but you have so much to do, I won't waste your time. By the way, if things don't work out, Daxter could always get a job controlling the village rat problem. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Dax. I don't know though. I guess Daxter had it coming. He was kind of rude, but... The funny thing is, I forgot that Daxter used to be normal. Genuinely forgot that he was a, a regular boy at some point. Ooh, hey. It's a power cell up there. So what if I can get up to that side? No, you don't. Ah! They're so not cute. Get away. So I still need to do the DLC level of uh, Crash Bandicoot. I haven't done it yet. I totally forgot about it, actually. 
Power cell! I hope that by me playing this game, it's at least memory lane for some people. I know for me. Seagulls. Get away! Kicks. <laughs> yeah, I hope it's memory lane for some people. <clears throat> the thing I love about this game is just collecting absolutely everything. So we got a precursor launcher here, but you aren't powered up with the blue stuff. So it ain't gonna help us! <laughs> I know, I'm not stupid! I know I need the blue stuff, but I don't have any blue stuff around here just yet. <coughs> no, you don't. So where is the nearest blue stuff then? We scrounged enough orbs to trade for a power cell! Let's get back and make the switch already. No. Pulls up from below. No, I want to stay out a little bit longer so that I remember where I have been, Dax. We've got a lot of work to do. But unfortunately, guys, that's all i got time for in this episode of Jack and Dexter. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you all in the next episode. Bye.